Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a server called Chivery MC. This is the first episode of the series. Chivery is a townie server, and it's well, it's it it is a pretty generic townie server, but it's not like every townie server that I've ever played on. I haven't really played on many because I don't like townie servers that much. But this one kind of comes out to me a little bit more. Um, so it has many good points, like the server owner and its community. And I know a lot of servers always say, "Oh yeah, we've got a great community, come play." But this server really did strike out to me as a great community because, like, as soon as I joined, I basically had like 10, 10 to fifteen people already saying hello, welcome, and everything. And uh, although that isn't the most uncommon thing, there were only about ten to fifteen people in the server anyway. Um, they were all treating me like royalty because I was new, which was weird but i mean amazing whatever um and yeah they're just generally really great people always helping out uh everyone i've never seen any sort of hostile activity or childish behavior it's quite a mature server um which i definitely am a big fan of another great point is um along with many other county servers and servers of this kind it has fully customized plugins now you know automatically that a server is dedicated if they've even made one custom plugin and to think that this server has so many custom plugins that allow it to do so many more things that other townie servers might not have is just so great. Yona has created new ideas such as geodes which um, can be found when you're mining and doing tasks like that I believe or maybe just mining I'm not sure but either way you can find them and trade them in for unique items and these items apparently I've never had one because they are pretty rare pretty hard to get but they are apparently absolutely amazing you can get um, like really really well high up enchanted weapons gear all sorts of things like that so that's really cool um, there's a whole really interesting donation system if you're not a big fan of donating don't worry you're still gonna win by the donating scheme as the the way it works is if somebody donates to um, the server by buying some coins which you can do that you can use in game uh, then everyone in the game at that time will receive some coins literally everyone everyone will cry out and say thank you oh my god you're amazing just because you've donated say three dollars which isn't really much um, you can donate more of course and get more coins and these coins are great because they can be used to spend on um, hats I believe uh, nicknames uh, having access to fly MC MCMMO couldn't nearly say that uh, credits, uh, different kill effects, death effects, um, currency in game, colored chat, chat formatting, all sorts of things like that. Keys, keys are really interesting. Um, so there are, I believe, seven or eight different chests. You will see them in this video. Um, and you get a key to each chest and they can unlock um, different items. And the chests get better and better as you go along. The magenta being the best and the gray being the worst. And you can really get some amazing gear. I haven't even been mining and I've got full diamond gear i haven't got any i haven't got full diamond army yet though because i haven't done enough voting but of course there's voting in this that leads to that and the rewards for voting are actually amazing i got a magenta key once and uh, which is the best key and somebody in the game said oh i'll buy it for 20k from you so i was like oh okay so i used the in-game ebay system that you may have uh, heard of in other servers and i put it up and somehow my key went from 20k to 300k so I got $300,000 in game which is amazing uh, just from voting so that sort of thing can happen to you although that's pretty rare but still you get keys and stuff which is insane so all of my diamond stuff is mainly from voting. Also uh, just like many townie servers again because this is this is your generic townie server but it's empty there's space to build there's, uh, there's nations I'm not sure if nations are a thing in normal townie servers I haven't seen it but nations are really cool so you can have many towns to one nation which is really nice. 50% of donations also by the way go to charity which I think is amazing the guy said the owner said um, that he's not really interested in making money from this I mean if it pays for the server maybe helps him with the rent that's fine um, but he's not intending to make lots of money from this and any unnecessary profits he said he's donating 50% to charity all of all of the money that do is donated anyway so all the unnecessary stuff will go straight to charity which is really great and spreading the love of Minecraft into the wider world Now this isn't just one of those townie servers you might find. This, of course, as I said, is a dedicated, proper townie server. So um, you can be expecting more things to come. So the owner has stated that in the future we will see the thing likes of bounties, which are really cool. I'm really excited to see how they work. Uh, I guess you can self-explain that sort of thing. 
Um, quests, quests are going to be great, and dungeons as well, probably to go along with those. Um, I'm really excited about all those. And then one thing that he did say, and I thought he was talking about another server at first because the content is just huge. So he would like to put in a dark zone from the division sort of type thing. Um, and that will be the PvP of the game. So if you're not a big fan of PvP, then not to worry. This isn't a PvP map. This isn't a forced PvP townie, uh, especially as it's quite small. You can get teleported to a random place, build your house, and live quite quietly. Or you can do PvP. I've seen in chat sometimes, our oh, Dalton has been killed by Insane or something. They are actually names from in-game, so if you see them, say hi. Um, but... Yeah, so it's not in your face. The PvP isn't a big deal. Uh, if you want it to be, then it will be when the Dark Zone comes out. So when Dark Zone's going to be a thing, it's going to be amazing. There's going to be PvP and all sorts of things like that. But it won't be in your face, remember, so that's always great. Oh, what's really great is, I mean, I like Minecraft, but Survival and Townie has got a bit old for me. And if you're feeling the same as I do, then what's really great is that um, when you go mining and things like that, you can actually find treasure just by mining. Um, with the MM, M, I can never say it. With the MCMMO as well. <laughs> Let's say that really slowly. Of course, we have like the gigabit drill and stuff like that. If you don't know what that is, then play on like any tiny server ever because it's just such an amazing plugin. Everyone uses it. But the great thing about this is you can find treasures just by mining and doing things, uh, simple tasks like that. Oh, that also leads to my other point. So that point's really great, but they also leads to my other point that, um, you can get jobs. Now, you may have seen this in a few other townie servers. Like I said, still a generic townie server. Basically, what jobs do is they pay you in cash. It's one way to make uh, money. By cash, I mean in-game. Don't, don't get too excited here. This isn't this isn't a money-making scheme. But yeah, in-game, you can get some cash by uh, doing some jobs such as mining, farming maybe, or going out, killing animals. It's quite basic, um, but it's there just in case you want it. Now, there are a couple things that obviously aren't the best about the server. I think one of those things, well, this can go either way. One of those things is that the community is quite small, and sometimes you can go on there, and there may be only two or three people on. Sometimes you'll go on there, and there'll be 30 people on. The um, the player range has been said that it's, um, on the usual, it's kind of 10 to 30 players, and at the peak, I think it's been 38. So it does really vary, but right now I'm playing the game, and there are seven people in. So yeah, it can be quite small. I don't know if you like that. I don't know if you don't, but that could be a bad thing or a good thing. So whatever. Uh, another bad, well, not bad point, but another point that lets the server down a little bit is the fact that it's unfinished. So if you are looking for a completely different townie experience, it's not quite there yet. It's still quite samey as other ones, except this one is done properly and it's still quite small. So that being said, uh, there is set, there is space to build, there are towns to be made, loads of things yet to happen in the server, which is really great, but it is a little bit unfinished. The buildings and the spawn area, however, is completely done with a full tutorial on how everything works in the game, um, and the chests, of course. Oh, and loads of other features. In fact, I'm not even going to talk about those features. If you want to see all the features that are at spawn I just remembered about, then feel free to join the server. The link, um, the IP is in the description, so don't worry, you can just enter that in Minecraft, as you know very well. And so my verdict of this server is, it. well, basically, in conclusion, this server is really good. Um, and although it is generic, it still is a new take on uh, Townie servers. It's still really interesting and fresh and new. Um, however, of course, it's not, if you're looking for something completely different, it's not completely different. It's not probably what you're looking for. However, though, as I've said like five times, I don't know why I keep saying however, uh, this server is great. So um, I definitely approve this server. If you would like to like the video, if you if you found this informal or enjoyed it, whatever, just hit that like button. Do it. Do it. Do it. If not, then uh, don't. Nah, I'm only joking. But uh, if you've got any questions, then leave them in the comment section. And if you'd like to subscribe, okay, if you subscribe because you want to, I will find you in game if you join the game, and I will bake you a cookie. In I will farm that wheat. I will farm it. I will bring it to your towny house, and I will give you a cookie. How about that? Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in another video. Bye!